This how-to is a really fun one. It's a trick, but it's also a skill that can be used on the trail. This is how to wheelie an e-bike. So I think the wheelie is one of the most fun things to do on an e-bike, using that power to get the front wheel up in the air. But it's also gonna be really useful for learning that balance point on the bike, which is gonna help with you doing bigger manuals and therefore bunny hops. It's also really helpful for getting up technical climbs and for getting through rough sections fast. More of those things later on, let's start with how to wheelie. First thing is a few bike setup tips that'll help you learn that wheelie. Now I would recommend not doing it in the turbo mode, so drop your power down slightly. Because in turbo mode you can get that front wheel up super high and sometimes it'll come up too fast and you'll loop out. By that I mean fall off the back of the bike. For the same reason I would always recommend learning to wheelie on flat pedals so that if the front wheel does come too high you can just jump off the back rather than fall off and land on your back. Next one is to do it with your seat up. So find yourself a bit of open space. It's also nice and smooth. That's gonna make it a little bit easier. And ride along at walking pace, but in quite an easy gear. Then slow it down. And actually it's that acceleration back up to that speed that gets the front wheel into the air. Now the tough part about that is trying to find the right gear. So when you accelerate into it, the front wheel comes up. But if it's too easy a gear, you'll spin really fast and the front wheel will drop. If it's too big a gear, you'll find it hard to get the front wheel up high enough. So what I call the snap, that acceleration up into the wheelie, is a mixture of two things. It's the power through the pedals, but also technique. So I ride left foot forward, and actually I need to position my pedals correctly to help with that snap. So actually I drop my front foot slightly, so my right foot's coming up and over, and then I go. And actually once my right foot comes up and over, the front wheel starts rising, and then I'm into my pedal stroke. So as part of that snap with the pedals, I'm also using my chest. So just before I start to put that power in, what I'll do is I'll remain seated, but drop my chest down towards the bars. As I snap with the pedals, I'll actually bring my chest back and upright. So it's right above the saddle, and actually I'll tip back with the bike as the front wheel rises. That's really important because if you bend your arms, you're sort of fighting that front wheel and you're not sitting into the wheelie. So your back brake really is your safety net here. You've got to learn a wheelie covering that back brake at all times. Because if it comes too high, grab it, it's gonna get that front wheel straight back down on the floor. But the real trick to mastering the wheelie is using the power to bring the front wheel up if it's dropping too low, then using the brake feathering that brake to bring the front wheel back down if it's coming too high, and that does take practice. Whilst I think it's easier to learn the wheelie with your seat up, so you remain seated, and to use your chest to lean back and power into it, I actually like to do it from a standing position. I can then do it with my seat down, and I can get the bike into an even higher wheelie. So, I'm stood nice and tall, and as I do the snap, I then sit down, my seat is down, my front wheel can go really high. Right, so power to bring the front wheel up, brake to bring it back down, and now side to side. So giving it a little bit more speed is gonna help you keep your balance, but you will still find that you'll have to put some input into the bike. So if you feel like you're losing your balance, it really all comes from the arms now. So don't forget to sit back into the wheelie, but if I feel like my balance is going the one way, I'll sort of tip the bike over. So picking my elbow up that way, or the other, sliding my hips around slightly on the saddle, all that input is gonna help you keep the balance. These are some of the common mistakes when it comes to wheeling that are gonna make it harder. The first one is not getting it in the right gear, like I've talked about already, but really experiment with this. You need that front wheel to be up, and then you're in the right gear to be pedaling along wheeling. The next one, just like manualing, people try and use their arms to lift the front wheel in the wheelie. And that's not gonna help because often the front wheel can go a little bit sideways. But when you sit back into the wheelie, like I've said, with your chest, your arms will go straight and hopefully your front wheel's gonna stay straight. But also then you're really sitting back and into the wheelie and not keeping your weight over the front wheel. So that's how to wheelie on the flat and there's hours of fun practicing that. But now I'm gonna show you where to use it on the trail.
So when it comes to using the wheelie on the trail, this is something I do an awful lot with an e-bike in sections like this where it's rough. If I want to try and pedal through this to use all my power, I risk whacking my pedals on these rocks and that can cause a big crash. So here I'm actually going to pick the front wheel up, that raises my bottom bracket height completely so I can then pedal through without any risk of whacking my pedals. Now just like on a normal bike where you may need to wheelie up steps and technical climbs, you can do the very same thing on an e-bike if you're really trying to harness the extra power it's given you and actually this can be loads of fun trying to challenge yourself to get up some really hard stuff using your skills and your wheelies and all that power. Once you've mastered the manual and the wheelie, you can do a lot more fun things like this coaster wheelie. But don't forget to hit those buttons down there for more e-bike skills videos.